Hey everyone, welcome to my advanced guide to animation cancelling in ESO. I'll keep it short and sweet and show you everything you need to know in order to master animation cancelling and optimize your DPS. Also in this guide, I'll be showing you some advanced techniques that you've probably never seen before, so stay tuned even if you think you already know everything there is to know about animation cancelling. So what is animation cancelling? Animation cancelling is any method of preventing your character from physically performing movements or animations which take up time during combat. If you time your button presses correctly, you can use attacks and other abilities at virtually the exact same time. All of the following methods are considered animation cancelling techniques, so let's start with the basics. Light attack cancelling is the simplest form of animation cancelling and arguably the most useful. Since light attacks generate ultimate, you want to make sure to be using light attacks throughout a fight. You should take advantage of animation cancelling by cancelling your light attack animation every time you use a skill. You can do this simply by pressing your light attack button, then quickly pressing the skill button before your light attack animation finishes. If timed properly, both the light attack and skill will cause damage, but your light attack animation will be cut short, saving you time and increasing your DPS. This can be done with any weapon type and any skill in the game, including cast time and channeled skills. Dodge cancelling is useful when you see that you're about to take damage. Dodge cancelling allows you to cancel either light attacks or skills with a dodge roll. To make the most of dodge cancelling, you should first cancel a light attack with a skill, then cancel that skill with a dodge roll. To do this, quickly tap your light attack, then skill, then dodge roll buttons. Like dodge cancelling, block cancelling is useful when you're about to get hit. You can cancel light attacks or skills with blocks, but you should combine all three to make the most of block cancelling. Light attack, skill, block. Keep in mind you can do this with any weapon. Bash cancelling can be performed with any weapon, but I mostly recommend using it with one-handed shield because of the reduced bash cost passives. You can cancel both light attacks and skill animations with bashes, but you should use all three for some very nice burst DPS. So combine a light attack, then skill, then bash with some animation cancelling. This may be the most useful type of animation cancelling, especially if you use sword and shield. I use a tank build, which means I generally have low DPS, but combining light attacks, skills, and bashes together allows me to pump out some very nice DPS. I highly recommend learning this animation cancelling technique. Light attack weapon swap cancelling is pretty useful, but also very difficult. The timing is tough for this one, but if you practice, you'll be able to squeeze a light attack in between your weapon swaps for some free DPS and ultimate generation. Skill swap cancelling is very useful when you're about to finish out a skill rotation on one bar and will be switching over to your other bar. On your last skill in that rotation, cancel the skill with the weapon swap to save time and increase DPS. You should also take it one step further and cancel a light attack with your skill, then cancel your skill with your weapon swap. I'm calling this one the lefty swap because I've never seen anyone else ever use it. This is by far the most difficult rotation to pull off and it's mostly useful when swapping from one bar over to a sword and shield bar. Again, this is because the sword and shield skill line has passives to decrease the stamina cost of bashing. If you time the lefty swap correctly, you will perform a light attack, skill, weapon swap, and bash all at the same time. And your bash will go off on the second skill bar, which should be your sword and shield bar. Before wrapping up the video, I'll answer a couple frequently asked questions. No, animation cancelling is not a bug, and it's not going anywhere, so you might want to start using it. Check the description of this video for a comment from the developers. Yes, this is possible on console, and if you're having any trouble getting animation cancelling down, just practice. I recommend starting out slowly at first. Don't try to cancel your animations as quickly as I do. Just start slow, and you'll naturally speed up. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.